Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Peter Angelos, the esteemed owner of the Baltimore Orioles and a prominent figure in both the legal and sports communities, passed away at the age of 94. His passing marks the end of an era for the Orioles, a team he bought in 1993 and led through decades of baseball with a love of the game and a strong connection to Baltimore. His donations stretched beyond the diamond, demonstrating his broad impact as a trial lawyer, philanthropist, and political donor. Born on July 4, 1929, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to Greek immigrant parents, Angelus worked up a unique career path that took him from Baltimore's neighborhoods to the pinnacle of professional accomplishment. After graduating from the University of Baltimore School of Law, he established himself as a relentless lawyer, representing workers and taking on major businesses in landmark cases such as a mammoth asbestos poisoning action that resulted in a stunning settlement. His leadership of the Orioles was distinguished by a desire to spend in talent and a commitment to keeping the team competitive. During his tenure, he made the memorable decision not to deploy substitute players during the 1994-95 MLB strike, which earned him the respect of many fans and players. Despite receiving criticism for the team's performance on occasion, his genuine love for the game and the Orioles was never in doubt. His recent deal to sell the franchise to a consortium led by David Rubenstein demonstrates his lifelong commitment to the team's success. His legacy is also defined by his substantial philanthropic activities and charity contributions, which included significant gifts to the University of Baltimore and other community institutions. He was a strong supporter of the Greek Orthodox Cathedral of the Annunciation in Baltimore and a substantial contributor to Democratic Party candidates, demonstrating his extensive impact beyond athletics. Peter Angelos is survived by his wife, Georgia Kusuris, and their two children, John and Louis. He leaves a lasting legacy on Baltimore and the Orioles. His passion for his community, humanitarian giving, and undying support for the Orioles will be remembered and treasured. Jessica Petway, a beloved beauty influencer renowned for her impactful presence on YouTube, has tragically passed away at the age of 36. Petway, who bravely documented her fight with stage 3 cervical cancer with her followers, passed away just before her sister Rainey's birthday, causing tremendous loss for her family and the large community of fans who respected her. Her journey into the digital realm began in November 2013 with the introduction of her YouTube channel. Over the years, she rose to prominence as a source of inspiration and style, garnering over 225,000 followers and more than 16 million views over nearly 450 videos. Her content, which ranged from beauty lessons to personal vlogs, resonated well with audiences all around the world. The sad news of her diagnosis came after a year of being misdiagnosed as having fibroids. The discovery of her cancer in February 2023, following a visit to an oncologist, was a watershed moment in her life. Despite the surprising mistake, she chose to confront her condition with courage and hope, refusing to let it define her. Her candidness about her situation, conveyed in a touching Instagram post in July 2023, meant to inspire those suffering similar challenges. She described the earliest symptoms, the route to her diagnosis, and the emotional toll it took on not only her but also her loved ones. Her tale demonstrated the necessity of pushing for one's health and getting second opinions as needed. Aside from her internet image, Petway was a passionate wife and mother who cherished her 12-year marriage and two kids, 10-year-old Kaylee and 3-year-old Zoe Lee. Her articles frequently addressed the difficulties and effects her disease had on her family, showing the personal problems they experienced together. Despite these challenges, Petway and her husband determined to tackle the sickness together exemplifying tenacity and love in the face of adversity. Jessica Petway's passing is a heartbreaking reminder of the fragility of life 
and the strength found in community and family support during difficult times. Her contributions to the beauty industry, her openness about her cancer battle, and the inspiration she brought to so many will go on. Silvia Tortosa, a revered Spanish actress and television presenter known for her impactful contributions to film, theater, and television, passed away at 77 in Barcelona after a valiant battle with breast cancer. She was diagnosed in 2019 and fought the disease with incredible bravery and tenacity, becoming a symbol of strength and resilience. Her passing ends an outstanding career spanning six decades, leaving a loss in the hearts of all who knew and respected her work. Her rise to fame began at the age of 15, when she made her theatrical debut in The Wizard of Oz. Her interest in acting prompted her to study dramatic art, and by 1966, she had made a huge breakthrough into film with her performance in The Last Saturday. Her career took off as she became a muse for uncovering, working alongside industry legends like Christopher Lee and appearing in beloved programs like Hostel Royal Manzanares and Farmacia de Guardia. Her versatility and charm also found an outlet in television entertainment, where she hosted the popular show Aplauso. Aside from her professional accomplishments, her personal life was characterized by deep love and tragedy. She was married four times, with each relationship adding to the fabric of her life story. Her ultimate love, producer Carlos Canavas, supported her through her health issues, demonstrating a bond based on mutual respect and compassion. They worked together to overcome the challenges of her illness, demonstrating the strength of love in the face of adversity. Her legacy extends beyond her cinema and stage performances. She was a fighter, not only in her work, but also in her personal life, fighting cancer with a zeal that inspired everyone who witnessed her path. Her friends, loved ones, and the media, who had supported her for six decades of professional life, are today mourning her loss while celebrating the lasting impression she left on the world of Spanish entertainment. As we say goodbye to Silvia Tortosa, we remember her not only for the characters she created, but also for her bravery, grace, and unwavering passion for her profession. Her legacy will continue to inspire future generations, demonstrating that even at the darkest of circumstances, the human spirit's perseverance shines brightest. Sylvia Tortosa, rest in peace. Your memory will be cherished forever. Emmett Bergen, a celebrated Irish actor renowned for his role as Dick Moran in the iconic RT series Glen Rowe, passed away unexpectedly. Born in Dublin, his contributions to the arts went beyond the pastoral settings of Glen Rowe, leaving an everlasting stamp on stage and television throughout his successful career. Glen Rowe premiered in 1983 and rapidly became a fixture on Irish television, with Bergen's depiction of Dick Moran winning him a particular place in the hearts of people across the country. The series, which followed the lives of people in a tiny Irish agricultural town, aired until 2001 demonstrating the actor's ongoing popularity and brilliance. Beyond the pastoral environs of Glen Rowe, his flexibility as an actor was demonstrated in a variety of roles, notably his depiction of Angus Fanning in the 2003 biographical crime drama about the courageous journalist Veronica Guerin. His role as Ulfus in the 1981 fantasy film Excalibur demonstrated his ability to immerse himself in complicated imaginative realms, demonstrating his range and depth as an actor. His voice also adorned the airways, most notably in radio advertising for the Irish Times in the 1980s, showcasing his unique presence outside of visual media. His dedication to the arts was part of a family history, as his brother Patrick Bergen also became a well-known actor. Emmett Bergen is survived by his wife Sarah and their two children, Gavin and Tara, his abrupt passing has left his family, friends, and admirers in sadness for a guy who was not only a key presence in their life, but also a beloved figure in Irish entertainment. On Tuesday, March 26, a service to commemorate his life will be conducted at the Victorian Chapel, Mount Jerome Crematorium, in Harold's Cross, Dublin. In commemorating Emmett Bergen, we salute not only his achievements to film and television, but also the memory of a man who added warmth, depth, and authenticity to every character he played. He will be deeply missed, but his legacy will live on via the many stories he helped bring to life. Leah Smith, 
a TikTok influencer and model from Walton Merseyside, who bravely documented her battle with Ewing sarcoma, passed away at the early age of 22. Known for her bright social media presence, she won the hearts of over half a million followers by exposing her daily life and the realities of living with a rare kind of cancer that mostly affects children and young adults. Her path, characterized by honesty and resilience, attracted worldwide notice and support, making her an example to many. Her boyfriend, Andrew Moore, revealed the news of her passing on her TikTok profile, where he expressed appreciation for the outpouring of love and promised to ensure that Leah's memory and impact were never forgotten. Her struggle with cancer began with back pain, which progressed to a loss of sensation in her left leg, causing her diagnosis. Ewing's sarcoma is characterized by discomfort, swelling, and tenderness in the afflicted area, with most cases occurring in people aged 10 to 20. Despite the obstacles, she remained a beacon of hope, documenting her hospital visits and the ups and downs of her treatment, resulting in millions of views and hundreds of letters of encouragement. Her family and friends, particularly her brother Liam and best friend Vicky, have expressed emotional gratitude to the TikTok community for their steadfast support along her journey. Vicky's moving remarks, if love could have saved her, she would have lived forever and a day, express the tremendous compassion and admiration felt by everyone who was touched by Leah's story. Her legacy is not only a monument to her fortitude and courage, but also a reminder of the importance of sharing one's journey in order to inspire and encourage those going through similar struggles. Her candid depiction of life with cancer, which includes both challenges and times of joy, has made an everlasting impact on the hearts of her fans and will continue to inspire future generations. Eric Carmen, the iconic singer and songwriter behind timeless hits like All By Myself and Hungry Eyes, passed away in his sleep over the weekend at the age of 74. The announcement on his official website mourns Carmen's passing as a sweet, loving, and talented individual whose eternal legacy will be the profound impact his music had on admirers across generations. No cause of passing was specified. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, he rose to prominence in the 1970s as the charismatic lead vocalist of the Raspberries. The band, famed for its Beatles-like harmonies and pop-rock style, had successes like I Want to Be With You and Go All the Way. Despite their initial popularity, internal conflicts led to the band's dissolution in 1975, clearing the door for his successful solo career. His solo work is distinguished by emotionally charged ballads, such as the widely acclaimed All By Myself, which Celine Dion famously performed, and Hungry Eyes a key component of the Dirty Dancing soundtrack that captured the intensity of one of cinema's most beloved romances. He also co-wrote Almost Paradise, the love theme from the film Footloose, which was sung by Mike Reno and Ann Wilson, and earned Carmen his only Grammy nomination. Despite declining to join the Raspberries for their 1999 reunion, Carmen rejoined the band for a 2004 show in Cleveland, which led to a brief tour in 2005. Their final collective performance occurred in 2007, signaling the end of an era for the band. His legacy is a rich tapestry of music that stands the test of time and resonates with both old and new audiences. His talent to create songs that touch the heart and elicit strong emotions made him a popular figure in the music industry. Fans in the music community grieve his passing while simultaneously celebrating the everlasting mark he left on the world of music. His songs, which spent months on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, will always be treasured by people who found consolation, joy, and inspiration in his music.